All right, so I'm checking out a pretty cool device today. This is the OBSBOT Me from Remo AI. I did a review of their uh, OBSBOT webcam a few months back, and it's a pretty cool system. And this thing does uh, really good facial tracking. So if I move left or right, it's going to follow me. And the reason that I've come out here today uh, on this wobbly picnic table is uh, I want to see how good it's going to track me outside and pff, there are bugs out here like crazy today pardon that but um so i'm gonna walk around this picnic table and see how well this thing does at tracking me right now so i'm gonna move off to the right and move off to my left and it's doing a pretty good job as i move slowly i'm gonna back up a bit here and give it a little bit of a further test here as i move over here looks like it's doing a pretty good job now the reason that i placed the camera by this tree here is because i want to see what happens when i move to the other side of the tree i want to see if it loses me or not and here we go and huh and if we do a full circle all the way around. Oh, it lost me. And I think that's just as far as it will turn, actually. I don't think that it actually turns all the way around. I've not read the instruction manual, so uh, it may just be at its turn limit. If I move to the right, it should hit its stop again. I know it's locked on me now. We can test that by moving left going back right again yeah so this is the limit of the gimbal itself or i don't know if it's actually technically a gimbal but that's the limit of the turning of the head of this device so if i come back around here and go all the way back the other direction it should hit that stop again here on the other side and sure enough, that's where it's, the stop is at. So that's a pretty almost 100 and 360 degree turning radius that it can do. Not quite, but covers that pretty well. So pardon this wobbly picnic table that I'm sitting on, but Remo AI has developed this thing and the design intention was to use this with a cell phone, but I'm actually using this right now with a Go, <sighs> bugs. I'm using this right now with a GoPro and it's really doing a great job of moving the GoPro. And I've also got the receiver for this mic on there as well. So as far as it goes, this is the best AI tracking that I've ever personally used on any kind of device like this. Not to say that the, um, the OBSBOT webcam isn't good, but I think that as far as tracking goes, this thing does a little bit better the job than even the OBSBOT webcam does, which does a fantastic job. The difference is that this device only tracks side to side, whereas the OBSBOT webcam will track up and down as well. And I think that lends to the accuracy of the device. It's got fewer moving parts and fewer things that need to be that it needs to keep track of so i think that's one of the reasons that it does the tracking so well with this setup so another thing that i really like about this system is the gesture commands and you can lock this system in place by showing your palm a palm command so i just locked it in place by showing my palm there so if i move side to side it's not going to follow me now but if i show my palm again now it's unlocked and it'll start following me again. Now the OBSBOT Tiny did have those gesture commands as well and it had a zoom command, but I do wanna reiterate that the camera on this system is just for tracking. So there is no point in zooming with this setup. You, your recording is done by whatever camera you attach to this system. So the more I use this thing, the more I actually really am falling in love with it. I was not all that excited about it when I first got my hands on it, but the more I use it, 
the more I really, really enjoy it. And the reason that I really wasn't all that excited about it in the first place was because I've had sort of mixed experiences with camera tracking devices like this. The Osmo Pocket, I have one. It's great, I like it, but uh, it's really easy to lose tracking on it sometimes. And um, when it works, it works great, but when it doesn't work, you know, you go through the process of setting up a shot and then you lose your subject and you've got to go through and do it all over again. It's just kind of a hassle. It's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. What I really like about this system is there's no setup involved. You turn it on and it works and it uses its AI to pick up the tracking subject and it just works. That's sort of a blessing and a curse depending on what kind of tracking you want to do with it. So this is designed to track a single person and that's why it works so well and works so fast. What it does with tracking that single person is it is amazing at doing its job. So where it can be a curse is there's no way of actually setting up and doing a specific object tracking. Like if I wanted to say track this battery, for example, it's not gonna happen. You've got, whereas with like the Osmo Pocket, you do have that option. Um, as far as like this thing locking on a person, it does a fantastic job. You get multiple people in the shot, it tricks it and it doesn't know what to do. But tracking that one person, it's amazing. I've done some running around purposefully trying to lose the tracking on this and I've been able to do it if I run in really erratic patterns and uh, dart around in weird ways but for the most part it's going to just track the person that you're shooting and it's not going to have any problem whatsoever with that. It doesn't do well with animals. Um, I took it to feed the ducks the other day and it really didn't know what to do with that. So. As far as it goes, I think it does what it's designed to do, and it does that job really well. There are a couple of other tracking devices like this on the market that, well, like this, and these things are absolute garbage. This has Bluetooth built into it, and you pair this with your phone. You set your phone up here, and then you download an app, and this talks to the phone, and it's super gimmicky, it's trash, it just doesn't work well. Um, and what I like about this thing is that I don't have to do any kind of setup like that. And in addition to just um, cell phones, you can put other lightweight cameras in this. I'm actually recording this with a uh, Canon ELPH100HS. It's a super old um, point and shoot camera, but it does a great job of recording video and I like this little camera. I've adapted not only this camera, but I've done action cams. I did a webcam with a, uh, just a small plastic clamp to hold it in place. Um, I, with a little bit of extra engineering, I was able to fit a camcorder to this. The downside is they have to be small, lightweight cameras. Not a big deal. This was not designed to be used with anything beyond a cell phone, I think, but I, the, ability to use other stuff is just an added bonus. And um, I really like that about this cam uh, about this setup. And one of the things that I'm considering doing is in the future, I think I may pick up a small form factor camera that's a little bit more modern th than this Canon ELPH. Um, it would be great to have something that's a little bit more capable than this and have something that I can throw in a camera bag and what I like about these small form factor cameras is they do fit in my pocket and they work really well with this thing. Um, I've recorded the majority of this video with those small form factor, either action cameras or this point and shoot. I've done very little with my phone on this. I'm not a fan of recording video on my phone because of blips and bleeps and bloops and notifications that you get, calls that can come in, camera app crashing, the phone overheating, things like this. Given my choice, I would take a camera over a phone any day. But that's just me. As far as using a camera, a phone camera with this, it's gonna work out just fine. That's what it's designed for. 
What I would really like to see Remo AI do is take this same technology and build it into something bigger with stronger motors that could handle a bigger camera, at least a micro four thirds with a decent lens, but bigger, the bigger, the better. And I think that if you took this same technology and paired it with a uh, camera that has great fast autofocus, then you've got a winning combination right there. But what I would really like to see would be a bigger version of this, but take the arm off the top and just put quarter 20 mounting on there for a bigger ball head or even have a ball head built in so that you could adapt a camera to that easily. Not only would that be absolutely amazing, but I think there's a market for it as well. So who is this for? Well, I think the intended design use is actually for TikTokers and people who are going to be doing a lot of fast movement recording on their phone. But in addition to that, as I mentioned in my review of the Obbot webcam, this would also be great for somebody who is doing a lot of moving around, doing a presentation like a teacher or a salesperson who is maybe doing that presentation over Zoom because Zoom or Skype or any other app that works on your phone is going to work flawlessly with this. In addition to those people, I think this has further applications for uh, people who use action cams, and this is just a great device to throw in your bag and take along. The battery life on the thing is amazing. I've used it for four days now. I've used it for probably an hour, hour and a half on and off each day, and yesterday the battery life got down into the orange level, so I had to charge it up yesterday. I would say that if you're gonna take this out and use it on a long shoot, make sure that you're gonna charge it up. But I think for the most part, uh, if you just charge this thing once a week, you should be good to go, depending on how much you use it. But I think that's just about everything that I need to cover with this device. If there's anything that I missed, be sure to post your questions in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. But I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I'm going to give a quick shout out to my patrons. Thank you all so much for watching. That's it for now, and I'll see you next time.